We turn now to our GMA cover story, the Red Cross sounding the alarm on the worst national blood shortage in more than a decade. Will Reeve has more on what's behind the crisis and how you can help out. Will, good morning. Good morning. Only 38%, according to the Red Cross, of Americans are eligible to donate blood at any given time. And of those people, only 10% actually donate. Compounding that problem is fewer healthy donors amid many other issues with the pandemic. Blood supply right now is critical to saving lives. You can help. There's a national blood shortage. The Red Cross calling it the worst in over a decade. Physicians are being forced to make decisions about where the blood is going and who will get it immediately and who has to wait, which is devastating. The Red Cross provides almost half of all blood to the U.S. Blood required after a major injury, surgery or other issues. Blood donations have dropped 10 percent since March 2020 a byproduct of the interminable pandemic, causing canceled blood drives, staffing shortages, and fear of exposure to COVID-19. Blood is a life-saving therapy. It, there is no alternative, and it cannot be manufactured or stockpiled. 11-year-old Draylon Holmes often needs blood transfusions for severe sickle cell pain. He goes from being just very lethargic and out of it to him being a boy again, you know, jumping, running, playing. But when Draylon was admitted to the hospital with acute chest syndrome, his mom Visha found out doctors couldn't give him the healthy blood he needs to feel better as easily as before. We were expecting to receive blood that next day because that's usually how it worked. But this particular time, it was that did not happen. Dr. Jennifer Andrews works in pediatric hematology and leads Vanderbilt Medical Center's blood bank where she sees patients unable to get transfusions because of this shortage every day. Because of this blood shortage crisis we're in, I don't have a choice and I have to make them wait for their transfusion. All right, if you want to be part of the solution, quickly do some research on the Internet to see if you're eligible. Redcross.org has good information there. While you're on that site, type in your zip code, find a blood drive near you, register and go donate blood. Then when you've done that, recruit your family and friends to do the same. And then once you've done all that, you can volunteer yourself at a local blood drive. They need all the help they can get. It is all hands on deck for this national blood shortage. Wit. A great reminder. People can go out and make a difference. Will, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.